your stomach, Stephen? Uh, my appendix. It was a little scar, but when I was a baby, as I grew, it, it stretched. Can you speak up, Stephen? I just don't know what religion to follow. Well, let's so see if we can help you, okay? okay? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put you up the River Niagara without a paddle, and we're going to see what you do about it, okay? okay if I could... I'm going to make you feel hopeless. Okay. For a reason. Okay. And I want you to be patient with me. Okay. You think you're a good person? I do, I do. How many lies have you told in your life? A lot. Countless. Countless. Ever stolen something? A ridiculous amount. Yes, sir. Have you ever used God's name in vain? Absolutely. Hit thumb with a hammer and want to say something disgusting? You take exactly. the name of Jesus Christ? Exactly. Or the name of God? That's called blasphemy. It's really bad. I wouldn't do that with your name because it'd be an insult to you. One to go. Jesus said, if you look at a woman and lust for her, you commit adultery with her in your heart. Yeah. Have you ever looked at a woman with lust? Okay, you have? Yeah, absolutely. So here's a quick summation, Steve. By your own admission, I'm not judging you. Yeah. You're a lying, thieving, blasphemous, adulterate heart. You've got to face God on Judgment Day. If he judges you by the Ten Commandments, we looked at four, you're going to be innocent or guilty. Guilty. Heaven or hell? I'm not sure. Well, the Bible makes it sure says this, all liars are their part in the lake of fire. No thief, no blasphemer, no adulterer, no fornicator. You had sex out of marriage? Yes, sir. It's called fornication. No fornicator will inherit God's kingdom. So you've got God's promise if he gives you justice on judgment day, you're going to end up in hell. So what can you do about it? Really nothing. Nothing. You're up the river Niagara without a paddle. You are hopeless and helpless. Now there's only one line being thrown to you. Religion can't help you. Islam, Hinduism, Buddhism, they cannot wash away your sins. But the God who gave you life can. The Bible says he's rich in mercy. God became a human being 2,000 years ago, Jesus of Nazareth. Perfect sinless man. And he gave his life on the cross to take the punishment for the sin of the world. Steve, you and I broke God's law. Jesus came and paid the fine. If you're in court, some of these the fine. The judge can let you go. He can say, this guy Steve's guilty, but someone's paid his fine. He's out of here. Well, God can let you live forever. He can wash away your sins, dismiss your case, because of the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Jesus cried out, it is finished when he was on the cross. In other words, the debt has been paid. You need to repent and trust in him like you trust a parachute. Okay? Okay. Don't just believe in a parachute. You put your trust in it. The moment you do that, God will forgive every secret sin and every open sin you've ever committed and grant you the gift of everlasting life. I'm not lying to you. This is the gospel truth. Do you think I'm telling you the truth? Absolutely. Well, absolutely. So, Steve, if you were to die today and God gave you justice, you know up in hell, there are two things you have to do to be saved. You must repent and trust in Jesus Christ. When are you going to do that? I want to say now, but then again, you know, if I hit my hand with that, my thumb with that hammer, I'll probably... Use the name of Bain again. Out of, out now of, that's a good point. Now listen to this. The Bible says today is the day of salvation. If you put it off, you might die between now and tomorrow. Okay. So there's an urgency. God commands all men everywhere to repent. If you say, I'll think about it, you're saying no to God. You're staying in rebellion. So you need to say, God, I'm a sinner. Please forgive me. You know what will happen? He'll create a clean heart in you. He'll wash you clean. And if you do something wrong, and say, God, forgive me, you'll wash it clean again, you'll keep it clean. It's like when you're a little kid, your parents say, okay, kid, I've washed you, stay clean. You go out and get dirty, mom will wash you again. The Bible says if we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So God can God can handle the fact if you fall, he'll pick you up. Absolutely. Steve, I've been a Christian for 46 years. And I still trip now and then, and I say, God, please forgive me. Okay? So when are you going to get right with God? Now. Now? Okay. Let's not clap until he shows the sincerity of his commitment. Okay. So you've got a choice. You say, God, forgive me, I'm a sinner. And then you do that which you know God would have you do. You listen to your conscience. You read the Bible. If you do that, God will reveal himself to you. I'm going to give you one promise from the Bible and give you a book. You ready? Yes, sir. Jesus said, He that has my commandments and keeps them, he it is that loves me, and he that loves me will be loved by my Father. I too will love him and will reveal myself to him. So if you obey the word of God, God will reveal himself to you by making you a new creature, taking you out of darkness, opening your understanding, and granting you a knowledge of everlasting life.
Do you have a Bible at home? Yeah, absolutely. Now, I'm going to give you $5 as a gift, okay, because you were kind enough to talk to me. And I'm going to give you a book that I wrote, all right? Oh, yes. Absolutely. Okay, so stay there, I'll bring it to you. Okay.